We love color, and that's why the Winkle logo is so colorful, right? Yes. And we love bringing you guys colorful activities and projects to do. Today is one of the most colorful activities we've done because it's a rainbow that's spinning on a stick. Should we see what's in our kit? Yeah, let's do it. Some colorful papers, two paper circles, one wooden skewer, one glue stick, and two glue dots. Great, and you have everything you need for this project right in front of you. You don't need anything else. Yay! So let's get started. Okay. Okay, Ella, to get started, we're gonna put down just one of our yellow circles, just one of them, oh. and get your glue stick ready, okay? Okay, Ella, we're gonna take all of these colorful papers we have, and they're gonna be coming out. See that dot in the middle? Yeah. They're gonna do not cover that dot, but they're gonna be coming away from that dot out like a sunbeam, you know, like the rays of the sun, mm -hmm. or like flower petals. You're gonna have to overlap just a little bit to make room for all of them, okay? And if you want to do rainbow colors, you can. The rainbow, we don't have purple in our spinner today, but the rainbow colors are red, orange, yellow, green, green blue. And then purple. But and then purple, purple, yeah, we don't have purple. And then see how my reds are gonna be across from each other now? Mm -hmm. And see how they overlap like this? Yeah. That is what you're gonna have to do to make sure they all squish on there. And see how they're all circling around that dot in the middle? They're very uh -huh. close to the dot, but they're not overlapping it. That's exactly what you're gonna need to do. Okay, Ella, see how I have them all laid out right here? It's like mm -hmm. a big sunbeam or a, or a big colorful flower. Yes. Wouldn't that be the best flower if it had all the rainbow color petals? Yeah. That would be so awesome. <laughs> Once you have it like this, you're gonna take your glue stick and start gluing your pieces into place. So just kind of scoot them out of the way, like that. Put the glue down on your yellow circle. Don't cover up that circle with the glue. And then you're going to place them down. And since you're overlapping, every time you place one of the papers down, you're gonna to have to put a little bit more glue on it. Does that make sense? Because you're putting the next color on top of it. So then I'm gonna add some more glue to that orange one so I can put the yellow on top. So every time you're putting it a little bit on top of the paper and a little bit on top of the circle. Okay, and then once you get to here, you have the red, orange, yellow, green, blue. You wanna be sure this red is going straight across from the other red. That's how you're gonna tell that it's symmetrical. And again, you can do whatever color pattern you want. You don't have to do mine, you can do it your own way. Just with all the Winkle projects, right? You always are encouraged to do it your own way. I give you the instructions and then you can do it your own creative way. But see how I have my red is exactly across from each other, my orange is across from each other. Yeah. What do you think is gonna come next? My yellow. yellow, and it's gonna be right, see that line that the yellow is in? I'm gonna follow that line and put it right across from the other yellow. Nice, Ella. Woo! What does that look like? <laughs> it looks like a little hula skirt. Ooh, a hula skirt. Swish, swish, swish. <laughs> or I was thinking like a jellyfish. Mm. Ooh, that is fun right there. Just like that. Okay, so we are going to put those down. And with our other yellow circle, we're going to glue these papers to the inside. So the yellow circles are facing each other like this. We're gluing our papers on the inside of that circle. Just like with any Winkle video, if we start going too fast, you can always pause the video and then press play when you get caught up. If you missed an instruction or didn't understand something, you can always rewind the video and press play again. Okay. So now we're gonna do the same thing. It's a little trickier because now we're making like a sphere, okay? okay. Like a ball. So it's becoming three-dimensional. Three-dimensional meaning it's like a shape that you can see from all sides. When it was just on the table, it was two-dimensional, mm -hmm. meaning we were just looking at it from the top, but now we're gonna be making three a three-dimensional three shape out of this. So lay it down, Oops. and you're going to take one strip and put some glue on it, and then put your circle on top of it, 
without covering up that dot, okay? And then try and make it so it's pointing straight towards that dot. You're gonna do the same thing where you're putting a little bit of glue on and overlapping your strips, all right? And you wanna make sure to do your strips in order because if you don't do them in order, let's say I grab this orange one Ooh. and put it next to the blue one and then put this red one next to that, they'd be all tangled up. So you have to make sure you're doing it in the order that it's already glued down. So I'm adding some more glue, overlapping. Every time I wanna make sure that's straight on with that dot. Is this a little trickier because you're making it three dimensional? Or yes. is it okay? It is it's it? tricky. Yeah. Let me see what you're doing. Oh yeah, you're doing a good job. Now you don't want to get them all bunched on one side though. You want to make sure you're making a three dimensional shape like this. It's very easy for kids to just like put them all over here on one side. You want to make sure you're still spreading them out evenly. Just like on the other side, we wanted to make sure that the colors were opposite from each other. See that? That's how you know you're on track, okay? Sometimes as a kid, you think, oh, I need to go get somebody's help because I've never done this before and I don't know how to do it. But I want to encourage you that before you go ask somebody for help, you try and figure it out on your own, okay? You try and think, okay, I know I haven't done this before, but she's giving me the instructions, she's showing me what to do, and I think I could try doing it all by myself. If nice. You You're almost there. Mm-hmm. Nice, Ella, look, we have our shape done. Whoa. What? <laughs> <laughs> now this is fun to play with it's just like it is, ball. right? I know, it's like yes. a big bouncy ball. A beach ball. Oh, yeah. Because of all the colors. That is so fun. But we're gonna make this into a spinner. Do you wanna learn how? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. You're gonna take your skewer and poke it through the hole in the bottom, and the top you wanna poke through as well. Okay, so we have the bottom and the top has the hole in it, but we want to make sure the bottom is free moving. See that? Because it needs to move up and down and around and around. So the top, we need to make sure it holds still. It sticks to this stick right here. Sticks to the stick. So we're going to cover the stick in glue first. Okay, lots of glue on that stick. You take one glue dot and peel off the paper. Okay, you don't need that white part. You're gonna put the glue dot over the hole, press it down, then you're gonna carefully peel up the plastic, it's okay to make mistakes, right Ella? Mm -hmm. Just don't give up, just keep trying. Okay, so I have my glue on here and my glue dot is on the bottom of my top. The bottom of my top, if that's tricky, I have the glue dot on the bottom of my top circle. Okay, now I'm going to put my skewer through there and I'm gonna let it dry. Now once this is dry, you are going to be able to play with it. But while it's drying, we have to just wait a few minutes to let it sit into place. Once it's dry, if it's still not attached to your stick well enough, sometimes your hole gets a little bit too big or it's just not sticky, you can always add more glue from your glue stick to the top and to the bottom right here to make sure it's sticking. Or you can always add more glue dots also, just make sure it's touching your stick and your paper so that it sticks into place. Try not to spin it until it's all the way dry, okay? Okay. All right, so let's think of something fun we can do while we're waiting for it to dry. How about while we're waiting for it to dry, we talk about science. Ooh. You're not spinning your spinner yet, but when you do spin your spinner, we are looking at centrifugal force. The centrifugal force is caused by inertia. Can you say inertia? Inertia. <laughs> That's right. When you swing an object around like a string or a rope, the object will pull outward on the rope. So if you tie like a string to a rock and the rock will go like around and around. Yeah, I've done that before, but when, with something else like a bag. Yes. So the stuff will go around instead of just 
falling down. Exactly, and that is science right now. That's what we're talking about. The centrifugal force caused by inertia. So our axis is right here on the top, right? Uh -huh. And our papers are trying to spin away from it, but we also have the papers attached down here to our circle, so they're not able to go like all the way out. They're they're stuck right here. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're seeing. We're seeing the papers trying to go out, but then they're also coming back in because of how we built our rainbow spinner. Yeah. Are you guys ready? Okay, here we go. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, sometimes it pops off. Gotta but that's okay. It. That's okay, that's okay. <gasps> that is so cool. What do you think of your rainbow spinner, Ella? I love it. Yes, so you see how those papers are trying to go out because of the inertia, but we've glued them back in, and that's what causes it to be so spinny and beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> it is so beautiful. That's so fun. Did you guys like this project today? If so, please like and subscribe. That way, every time we come out with new Winkle videos, you'll be the first to know. Also, check out down below for freebies and thewinkle.com. Thanks for joining us today, everybody. Bye. Enjoy your rainbow spinner. Bye. <laughs>Hey guys, if you're having trouble at home with your rainbow spinner, I'm gonna give you a few tips and tricks to help figure it out. Okay, so Ella was having a problem with her rainbow spinner and it's because this hole in the top was too big and her stick wasn't able to attach to the circle paper on top. So what we did to decrease the size of the hole was actually add some tape. Now you can add masking tape, scotch tape, this happens to be duct tape, any tape will do. And that will, and then you poke the stick back through the hole. Okay, and then that makes the hole smaller. But also, you're still, after you put the tape on, you're still gonna wanna glue the stick into place and put glue dots on the top and underneath, right there. And then you squeeze those glue dots to the paper, to the stick, and then your spinner should work again.